ahead and get started in child's pose today. So go ahead and come onto your hands and knees. Draw the big toes to kiss and you can either cinch your knees together, take them apart a little bit or maybe wider than your hips. It's completely up to you. Allow your forehead to come onto the earth. And you can either begin to stretch your arms out long towards the top of your mat, or you can wrap them around the backs of your legs, whichever one feels better for you. And again, I just kind of want to check the sound here, make sure everything's going okay. Breath. 
spread those fingertips out wide. Press the ground away as you sink your heels down towards the earth. And take an inhale, first slow. Exhale, bend your knees, lightly hop or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna dangle here for just a few breaths. Catch opposite elbows. Shake your head, yes and no. Maybe sway lightly from side to side. Inhale, release your hands to your front to the ground or your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, grab the ankles and fold your heart in. Inhale, root your feet down as you rise up, extending those arms all the way above your head. Exhale, hands down to your heart center, Samastitihi. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, taking your side bend over towards the right. Inhale, rising up tall. Exhale, taking it to the left. Inhale, extend up, lift the gaze, draw the low belly and find the back bend. Exhale, hinge up the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, hop or step it back to the top of your plank and take your chaturanga, whether you need to modify by dropping your knees, elbows knit to ribs. Inhale, pressing the heart up. Rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chin. Exhale, drawing in from the low belly. Extend the hips up to the sky, coming into down dog. Take three deep breaths here. In and out through your nose. Remembering that down dog is pose of rest and recovery in these vinyasa classes. And if at any time, you lose that breath, child's pose is always available to you. Good, starting to move, one breath, one movement. Inhale onto your toes, exhale, lightly hop, step, or float your way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it in, grab your ankles for a deeper stretch. Inhale, rising to the top of your mat. Sending the arms towards the sky, exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, circling the arms up, extending the gaze. Exhale, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands root, feet step to the back, chaturanga. Feel free to intensify by adding some extra yogi push-ups here. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, draw the core in, lift the hips down dog. Inhale, onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, hop step or float it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root your rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Third round, we've got it. Inhale, arms up and over. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back up through the center. Side bend to the left. Inhale, lift up. Reach for that back bend as you draw the low belly in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, down dog. You've got it, last round. Inhale, onto your toes. Exhale, lightly hop, step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grabbing the ankles and hugging yourself in if you want a little more intensity. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, circling the arms up. Exhale, grabbing that left wrist as you lean to the right. Inhale, coming up tall. Exhale, taking it to the other side. Inhale, reach up, lift the chin, find the back bend. Exhale, heart dives down towards the side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, hop or step back, chaturanga. Inhale, drawing the heart up. Exhale, curling the toes, raising the hips, down dog. Check in with your breath here. Can you breathe a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger? When you're ready, rise up onto your tippy toes. As you exhale, bend your knees, lightly hop or 
four step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. Draw your big toes to kiss the heels slightly apart. Drop your hip, bend your knees. Inhale, rise up into Utkatasana, chair pose. Gaze down, can you see your toes? If your knees are in front, sit them back a little bit. Check if your booty is popping out. If it is, send the tailbone south as you hug your low belly in. Notice where your shoulders are at. Drop them down away from the ears, even if it means bending the elbows slightly, and spread your fingertips out. Take another big inhale here. As you exhale, swing those arms back like wings. Draw the shoulder blades to kiss, lift off of those heels. Inhale, go ahead and sweep those arms up and over your head. As you exhale, take your hands to your heart center. Left elbow is gonna go outside of the right knee. We're gonna take our time this first round. Let's work into some alignment here. Look down. If your left knee has popped in front of your right, see if you can bring it back by bringing your hips over to the right a little bit. As you inhale, you can choose to stay here, or maybe you open up your arms. Good. Exhale, peek down. Inhale, either lift just the left heel, or the entire left heel, foot to your butt. Exhale, step it back. And you're either in prayer twist here, or bound prayer twist, it's up to you. Good. Inhale, you're going to use your arms like a windmill, swivel the back heel, open your arms like a T-warrior, two palms up or palms down is up to you. See that you're not gripping with your front toes, lift all ten of them off your mat, and then gently place them down. Release the shoulders as you hug the low belly in. One more inhale here. As you exhale, straighten into the right leg, sink into the left knee, skandasana. If you want the balance challenge, you're going to keep your hands at your heart. If you need a little bit more stability today, take your hands down. And see that you're not sinking all the way down, even if you have the flexibility to do so. We really want to work on that strength in our legs. Good. Inhale. You're going to go ahead and lunge forward. Spin onto your back toes. Sweep your arms all the way up and over your head, coming into crescent lunge. You're welcome to drop your back knee if you would like. Peel that right hip back in space. Move that left hip forward. One more big inhale, relax the shoulders. Exhale, plant the hands. Right foot steps back. For some of you, you're gonna keep it lifted. For some of you, you're gonna drop your knees. Moving through your vinyasa. And you're always welcome to skip the vinyasas and step right back to down dog. Inhale onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Lightly hop or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big toes kiss, heels apart. Drop your hips, bend your knees. Inhale, rise to Utkatasana chair pose. Go ahead and make the adjustments you made last time. Drawing the navel in, sinking the hips back, releasing the shoulders, spreading the fingers. Exhale, arms swing back like wings, shoulder blades connect, heels lift off your mat. Inhale, root the heels, arms extend up. Exhale, hands to your heart center, right elbow outside of your left knee here. Stay here and check if that right knee came in front. Bring it back by swinging your hips to the left a little bit. Good. You can choose to stay here on the inhale, or if you'd like, you can start to open your arms up. Exhale. All we're doing is looking down. Find your gaze point to stay balanced. Inhale. Lift off just the right heel, or take the right foot and draw the heel to the butt. Exhale. Step it back into prayer twist or bound prayer twist. Inhale, you're going to swivel your right heel down, windmill the arms open to a T, warrior two. Release into the shoulders, turn your palms off or turn them down, whichever feels better for you. Lift those front toes and place them down. One more inhale, see if you can reach your fingertips opposite directions. Exhale, right knee bends. Hands to heart here, if you want the balance challenge. Hands down, fingertips down, I should say, if you need some support. And then make sure that your low belly is still drawing in. As you inhale, you're going to lunge forward into the left knee, spin onto your back toes, extend the arms all the way up to the sky, palms face one another. Option to drop the back knee if you'd like. Drawing the low belly in, squaring the hips as you peel the left hip back in space. Exhale, hands plant, step it back, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, pressing into the earth, lifting the heart up. Exhale, coming into down dog. Take a 
couple deep breaths here. In and out through your nose. And the next round that we're going to take will be one breath, one movement. Inhale, arms to the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, lightly hop or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You've got this. Inhale, rise to chair. Exhale, swing the arms back, lift off the heels. Inhale, drop the heels as the arms raise. Exhale, hands up to your heart, left elbow outside of the right knee. Inhale, choose to stay with the palms pressing together or maybe the arms open up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, slowly pick up the foot and step it to the back of your mat as you exhale. Inhale, open your arms out to a T. Exhale, skandasana. Focusing on the strength aspect versus the flexibility. Inhale, extend the arms up. Crescent lunge, peel the right hip back. Exhale, root the hands down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, into down dog. Inhale, up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, hop or step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big toes kiss, heels apart. Drop your hips under knees, inhale, arms up. Exhale, lift the heels as the arms swing back. Inhale, lift the arms as the heels drop. Exhale, hands up to your heart, right elbow outside of the left knee. Inhale, press the palms together, open it up. Exhale, step to the back of your mat as you look down. Inhale, arms open to a T, warrior two. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat, right knee bends. Inhale, lunge into that left knee, spin onto your back toes, peel your left hip back and stay so the arms raise. Crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, extend the chin. Exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips, down dog. Inhale, onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, hop or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last round. You've got it. Inhale, arms up. Chair pose. Exhale, swing those arms back and lift onto your tippy toes. Inhale, drop the heels. Maybe you drop your butt a little bit as the arms raise. Exhale, left elbow outside of the right knee. Inhale, either open your arms or stay where you're at. And then as you exhale, look down, find your gaze point, and softly step your left foot to the back of your mat. Inhale, arms open to a T, keep the lunge in the right knee, warrior two. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, lunging into that left foot, spinning onto your back toes, reach those arms up, peel the right hip back, low belly in. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, onto those tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, hop or step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, big toes, kiss, heels apart. Drop your hips, bend your knees. Inhale, rise to chair. Exhale, swing it, arms back, lift off your heels. Inhale, root the heels, drop the butt an inch, swing those arms up. Make it juicy. Exhale, hands at your heart center. Right elbow outside of the left knee. Good. Go ahead and lightly step it back on your own. Exhale. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to skandasana. Inhale, spinning onto your back toes, extending the arms up, lunging into that left knee crescent. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back, chaturanga. Moving through your vinyasa here. Coming into down dog and taking five intentional breaths here. In and out through your nose. Filling all the way into the pit of your belly with every inhale. Squeezing every exhale out so much that the navel almost, it's as if the navel is almost touching your spine. And you're feeling your entire core engage. Beginning our third flow here, we're going to build it together nice and slow. Inhale, extend your right leg up. As you exhale, take your right elbow to your right tricep as you bring your shoulders over your wrist and then touch the left elbow. 
Inhale, reach your right leg up high. As you exhale, hug your knee into your forehead and step the right foot next to the right thumb. Inhale, take off into half moon here. So you're going to stand on your right leg. Open up your hips to the left side of your mat. Flex those left toes. Maybe your left hand comes to your hip. Maybe it starts to extend up. If you need a little bit of support underneath that right hand, you can take a block underneath it. And if you want to play, if you need more of intensification, maybe float your right hand just barely above your mat. As you exhale, come down into a runner's lunge. Inhale, the right arm is going to extend up towards the sky. Exhale, gaze down, root your back heel down. Inhale, windmill the arms this way, all the way up and over to reverse your warrior. Right knee is still lunging forward, right fingertips are reaching towards the back of your mat. Exhale, spin onto your back toes, plant your hand, send that right foot back to the top of the plank, moving through your vinyasa, meeting together in down dog. Remember, you, and choose, you choose the intensity of those vinyasas. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, and then over to touch the right elbow. Inhale, reach those toes up nice and high, three leg it up. Exhale, knee to nose first, step your left foot next to your left thumb. Inhale, take off into standing balancing half moon, turning your hips open towards the right side of your mat, flexing your right toes, coming onto the fingertips of that left hand, whether they're on your mat or a block. Maybe reaching your arms up, maybe floating off of that left hand. As you exhale, slowly step your feet, your right foot to the back of your mat, root your right hand down. Inhale, left arm extends up. Exhale, look down, sweep the back heel down. Inhale, windmill the arms all the way up and over to reverse warrior. Right hand can go along your right leg or wrap around the small of your back. Left hand is lengthening towards the back of your mat. Left knee is lunging towards the front of your mat. Exhale. Hands plant, step it back, vinyasa. Continuing to build onto our flow here. Inhale, your right leg is going to extend. Exhale, right knee to right tricep, then over to touch the left elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose, step it forward. Inhale, into any variation of standing balancing half moon. Exhale, slowly, with control, step your left foot to the back of your mat, plant your left hand. Inhale, right arm is going to extend up, lift your gaze past the fingers. Exhale, look down, pivot and plant your back heel. Inhale to reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten your front leg, arms up to a T, extend out and then down into triangle. Your right hand can rest on your shin, can rest on the floor or you can float it if you want more ab work. Turn your gaze up and over your left hand. And then as you exhale, you're gonna go ahead and sweep the left arm all the way over your ear and take a ninja walk all the way into your standasa and go ahead and sink as low as you can. You can take your hands to your heart if you want. You can choose a bind or you can choose to stretch it as you spread your arms out and tuck your chin. So many options, you choose where you want to go. But keep these right toes flexed. And we're going to make our way to the back of your mat. As you inhale, we're going to go ahead and take your right hand down, spin onto your right toes, open up into dragonfly twist, and then go right into side plank. From here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, heart up. Exhale, down dog. We're at the back of the mat, so whenever we're facing the back of the mat, it's always the left side that we're working on. Inhale, left leg extends up. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, touch the right elbow. Inhale, reaching up to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, engaging the core, lightly step your left foot next to your left thumb. Inhale, launch off of your right leg, coming into standing, balancing half moon. Exhale, gracefully stepping that right foot back, planting the left hand. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, you're gonna go ahead and 
then come root your heel. Inhale, lift up and over through reverse warrior. Exhale, arms extend out to a T, left leg straightens. Reach as far as you can over that left leg and then bring it down. Again, your hand can rest on your shin, the block, the floor, or it can float. Inhale, turn your gaze up towards your right hand and spread those fingertips out wide. As you exhale, sweep your right arm over your head. And then ninja walk your hands all the way to bending into that right knee. Taking any variation of Skandasana that you choose, whether it's the stretch, hands at your heart for the balance, or maybe the bind. One more inhale, one more exhale. And then as you inhale, you're gonna pivot towards the front of your mat, plant your left hand, open your right arm up, and then stack the right leg on top into side plank. For those of you who don't wanna take side plank, you can always take a dragonfly twist here, and you can play with the variations. Exhale, vinyasa. All right, we're almost there, you got it. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right tricep, left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, right foot next to right thumb. Inhale, launching off of your back leg, reaching the left arm up. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, gaze down, root your back heel. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, arms out to a T, straighten into your right leg, out and then down into any variation of triangle. Inhale, turn your heart open, lift your chin towards that left hand. Exhale, sweep your left hand towards your left ear. Walk your fingertips all the way back to that left foot and sink in Skandasana. Inhale, pivot towards the back of your mat, root your right hand down. Take off into side plank or dragonfly twist. Exhale, step your left foot towards your right thumb. Inhale, standing split, right leg lifts. Roll your hip down. Bring your forehead towards your knee here. And maybe some of you will go for the ankle grab with one hand or both hands. Good, as you exhale, tuck your right knee behind your left. Come all the way down onto your seat left hand behind your hip. Inhale, extend your right arm up. Exhale, twist it out. Let's take three deep breaths here. One more breath. As you inhale, you're gonna turn your gaze forward, unwind your legs and come into boat pose. Roll the shoulders down your back. Point or flex your toes. As you exhale, bring your heels towards your butt as much as you can, shift your weight forward, and then inhale, rise into chair. Exhale, hands go down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Left side on the back of your mat. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, right elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, step it forward. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, step it back, right hand will plant. Inhale, left arm goes up, dragonfly. Exhale, look down, root your right heel down. Inhale, up and over to reverse warrior, splitting that left arm all the way up and over your ear. Exhale, straighten into your left leg, arms to a T, reach out and then down. Triangle. Inhale, lift your gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, right arm goes all the way over your head. Walk your hands all the way back to that right knee and sink into it, Skandasana. Inhale, turn towards the front of your hand, plant your left hand, Take off into side plank with the right leg on top, any variation or dragonfly twist. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of your mat. Inhale to standing splits. 
Roll that hip down in space, lift from your glute. Head to knee, ankle grab is an option. Exhale, tucking the left knee behind the right foot. Coming onto your seat, right hand plants behind your butt. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, hook and twist. Three, deep breaths here. One more inhale. And as you exhale, see if you can ring it out and twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, turn your gaze forward. Unwind the torso, unwind the legs, come into both poses. Shoulders stay down here. Exhale, heels come towards your butt. Inhale, rise to chair. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your vinyasa only together in down dog. Now one more pose to add on here. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Shift it to the left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lean nose, step it forward. Inhale, take off into standing balancing half moon. Exhale, step it back into your runner's lunge. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, gaze down, loop your left heel. Inhale, windmilling arms to reverse warrior. Exhale, setting up for triangle, reaching that right arm out and then down. Inhale, turn your gaze up, spread the left fingertips. Exhale, swim the left arm up and over your ear. Walk your hands back to your left toes and sink into your left knee. Skandasana. Inhale, you're going to turn towards the back of your mat. Right hand will plant. Take off into your variation of side plank. Exhale, step your left foot towards the top of your mat. Inhale, standing split. You got it. Stay with me. Exhale, come down onto your seat into that seated twist. Inhale, right arm extends up. Exhale, right elbow outside of the left knee. Turn your chin towards your left shoulder. Inhale, coming into boat. Exhale, heels to butt. Inhale, stand it up. Exhale, swing your arms back like wings. Lift off of your right leg, airplane. Inhale, sweep your arms in front of you, warrior three. Exhale, plant your hands down, bend into your left knee. You can step it back, you can hop it back, switch kick it back, however you want to get through to your vinyasa. Last side, you got it. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, touch the right elbow. Deep inhale as you raise the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, navel to spine, left foot steps forward. Inhale, standing balancing, half moon. Exhale, stepping it back. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, look down, plant your right heel. Inhale, arms up and over like a wave, reverse your warrior. Exhale, left leg straightens, arms to a T, extend out and then down. Inhale, turn your gaze up and over that right hand. As you exhale, right arm is going to swim over your right ear. Fingertips will walk to that right knee as you bend into it, skandasana. Inhale, left hand will plant, spin onto your back toes and then pivot to the outer edge of that foot, open up into side plank. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale to standing split. Exhale, coming down onto your seat. Inhale, left arm raises. Exhale, left elbow outside of the right knee, turn your chin towards that right shoulder. Inhale, unwind your torso. Unwind your legs, rise up to boat. Exhale, hug your heels in towards your butt, plant your feet. Ah, inhale, up to chair. Exhale, swing your arms back like wings, lift off of your left leg so that you're standing on your right. Inhale, sweep your arms forward, warrior three. Exhale, plant your hands, hop, step or float it back through your vinyasa. Curl the toes, raise the hips. Down dog. Stay here. Just a breath or two. Inhale, slowly begin to roll forward to the top of the plank. Exhale, drop your knees. Bring your big toes to kiss. Wiggle your knees so that the 
will be wider than your hips. And then reach your hips back towards your heels. Bring your forehead down to the earth and slide your fingers out forward a little bit. Coming to rest here in child. Giving yourself permission to take a couple cleansing breaths. Breathing in and out through your nose or your mouth, uh, and then out through your mouth. And then after you've taken those cleansing breaths here, return to the breath in and out through your nose. Allowing yourself to feel the back rise as you inhale. And the heart to melt a little closer towards the earth as you exhale. Giving ourselves permission to take rest. Our entire lives are balanced between play and rest work and rest, productivity and rest. And it's in those moments of rest where we allow our minds to soothe and calm. We allow our muscles and our cells to regenerate. When you're ready, slowly rise onto your hands and knees. And then bring your knees underneath your hips here. When you're ready, you're going to swivel your left shin to a 45 degree angle. And then inhale, stretch your right leg out, open your right arm up to the sky. Root your right foot down, so the outer edge is pressing into your mat. And then as you exhale, you're going to sweep your right arm up and over your head. Turn the palms down, keep your fingertips Stretching towards the top of your mat, roll your shoulder down your back, turn your heart up, and then press into the outer edge of your right foot. And you should feel a nice stretch along the entire right side body. You might even feel it a little bit into your right hip flexor, drawing your low belly in. Another big inhale here, and then exhale, come back to table. Rotate your right shin so it comes to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, root down through your right hand. Stretch your left leg back, plant the foot. Left arm goes high. Exhale, left arm sweeps up and over your head. Palm is down, shoulder is in its socket. Turning your heart up, drawing your low belly in. And when you're ready, pressing into the outer edge of that left foot reawakening that left side body. One more inhale, stretch those fingers out. Exhale, come down. And then just go ahead and wiggle your hips from side to side. Maybe take a few circles with those hips. It feels good to incorporate some cat cows. You're welcome to do so here. Again. Always, always coming to our mat with a curious mind, a non-gentle perspective. I'm sorry, a non-judgmental perspective. And just allowing ourselves to be here in this space. And then when you're ready, curl your toes. Reach your hips up to the sky. We've got about 10 more minutes of work, and then the rest is going to be gentle, easy stretching. Inhale, take your right leg up. Exhale, right knee to your right tricep, and hold. And we're gonna go ahead and pulse here in a couple minutes, but for now, just hold. Gaze is strong towards the top edge of your mat, shoulders are rolled down. And then now when you're going to pulse, you're just going to pulse your knee towards your tricep. So for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knee into your nose. Step your right foot forward. Five. Inhale. Bend your arms up to the sky. Exhale. Both hands 
rock hill is lifted as high to the sky as it can possibly be. Roll your shoulders down your back. Hug your low belly in here. Slight pelvic tilt forward. Tailbone is reaching south. Make sure you're not gripping into your front foot here. Lift all five of your right toes. Gently place them on your mat. You can always re-square your hips if you feel like the left hip has started to drift back a little bit and the right hip has started to move forward. Good. Now, from here, take your hands straight down to your sides. Stretch those fingers out. And then as you exhale, you're slowly going to lower so that your left knee is barely hovering above the ground. Inhale, drop your left knee to the ground. Sweep your arms up and over your head. Maybe lunge forward a little bit deeper so you build in the hip flexor. Again, this first time, let's go ahead and take our hands to our hips and square them. So left hip will move forward, right hip will pull back, and then reach those arms up and over. As you exhale, your arms are gonna come down like you're making a snow angel, and you're gonna lift off of your knee an inch. Inhale, drop the knee, lift the arms, lunge forward a little bit deeper. Exhale, arms come down, knee lifts. Inhale, we're almost there. Lift the hip, or lift the hands, lunge forward. Exhale, pop the knee off the ground an inch. Inhale, this will be four, re-square your hips as you need to. Exhale here, last one. Inhale. Exhale here, keep the knee lifted. Inhale, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, swing your arms back like wings, lightning bolt. Breathe here. If you want more of a challenge, you can just take your arms up in line with your head and your ears. Your choice, arms back or arms forward. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, release down. Good. Go ahead and put your right hand to the inside and then heel toe your right foot so that your toes are pointed towards the outside of your mat and your heel is in. That right quad should be on fire right now. We're just gonna stretch just a little bit deeper into that left hip flexor for a moment. When you're ready, heel toe your right foot to the center of your mat, take your right hand on the outside of your right foot, drop your left knee, sweep your hips back, flexing the right toes, dropping your head towards your knee. Three more breaths. Knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up, drop the knee. 
exhale, lift the knee, arms come down. You're only going a little bit off the ground here. Exhale, lift the knee. Square your hips if you notice one is coming in front of the other. We're almost there. Last one. Good. Lifting off of the knee. Coming up. Squaring the hips. And then exhale, taking lightning bolts. Swinging the arms back like wings, letting the shoulder blades kiss. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can sweep your arms up towards the front of your mat. Arms are in line with your head and ears. Three more breaths. Exhale, place the hands down. Heel toe your left foot towards the outer edge of your mat and your left toes to the edge of your mat, the heel in. Left hand on the inside. Let's go ahead and pull here. Shoulders stay down and you're welcome to drop down onto your forearms if that feels good. When you're ready, heel toe your foot back a little bit. Place the left hand on the outside. Drop the back knee, shift the hips back. Heel the bottom of your foot off of your mat. Strengthen into your left leg. Drop your head to your knee, half split. Thank you. 
show my turn. Go ahead and set up for the other side here. So slide the right knee on bottom. Again, right heel outside, right outside of the left hip. Left knee on top. You might come forward a little bit, wiggle the knees, and then sit back. Again, Damakasana isn't in the cards for you, then you can always come to fire logs. You just want your shins to be parallel with one of the edges of your mat here as much as you can. And from here, sinking the hips down, relaxing into those glutes and the hip flexors. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, coming forward. And you may feel resistance sooner or you may be a little bit more flexible on this side, but work with what is. We tend to favor one side as we move about our daily activities. So it only makes sense that one side may be a little bit tighter than the other. And just notice where your place of resistance is here. Again, taking your forearms on a block or maybe the forehead to rest on the block. Letting the shoulders roll down your back. Unclenching the jaw, perhaps closing the eyes, and bringing that full attention and awareness to your breath. Slowly taking your arms out to the side so that you can plant your palms. Dropping your chin to your chest. Slowly rolling off one vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing that rises. Shoulders fall. Go ahead and come forward this time onto your hands and knees. Take that right knee out from behind and shift your hips from side to side. Notice all of the space you just created by surrendering your body and honing in on the breath that brought fresh oxygen and nutrients to your hip joints. Take some circles. Now when you're ready, let your knees come to the left side of your mat. Drop your hips to the right. Sweep those legs around to the front of your mat. Release all the way down onto your back. And hug your knees into your chest. Open your arms out to both post arms or a T. Drop your knees to the right. Turn your chin to the left. Slowly drawing your knees through to center, drawing your chin through to center and changing sides, letting the knees fall to the left, chin turns towards the right shoulder. Coming through to center, bringing your chin through to neutral. Separate the knees here. Take your fingertips to cuff directly underneath the knees on the tops of the shins. And then take three knee circles out. Trying to draw a circle with each of your knees. And then change directions. Rotating the knees out. And then in three times. Come into happy baby, reaching for the big toe bind, perhaps the insides or the outsides of your feet. Draw those knees down, 
Press your lower back into your mat. Maybe you rock from side to side. Take a leg or two out. Wrap your arms around your shins. Bring the knees together. Head to the knees. Big squeeze as you take a big deep breath in. Exhale. Let your limbs fall to the mat. Release it out through your mouth. Palms up as a sign of an open heart, an open mind, and just allowing yourself to take rest here in Shavasana. awake here, but noticeably less tense than when we first began. Introduce gentle movements to your body as you wiggle into the toes. Brush the thumb across each finger. Curl the ankles. Roll the wrists. Allow the chin to sway from side to side. When you're ready, take your arms up and over your head. Point your toes out long. Huge inhale in through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth, stick your tongue out, release a lion's breath. Allow the knees to come up and over your heart. And then roll onto either side into the fetal position. Allowing yourself this moment of stillness and gratitude for coming to your practice to take care of your mind, body, and soul today. And with the eyes remaining closed, use your top hand to root the palm into the earth and help you feel your way up to any comfortable seated position on your mat. Take a big inhale, sweeping your arms up and over your head, gathering up all of the love and light. Exhale, dropping your hands to your heart with the intention of sending that same love and light back out into the world. And as always, Loka, 